Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, how's everybody doing? Um, welcome back to episode 99. Um, unbelievable. Um, that's another episode closer to the big 100, the big ton. Um, but uh, yeah, first off, as per usual, couple. So what have I been up to? Well, not a great deal. I'm um, getting fat. Uh, my body's starting to fill out quite a bit um, from not smoking so I need, I need to start hitting the gym um, I am really really out of shape so I'm a little bit fat at the moment I've got moobs which is a fucking ace um, but I'm not smoking so yeah just I feel a lot better for it so that's really really good um, but yeah let's move on to the pickups enough about me let's move on to the pickups move the phone over there Boom. Right, um, this is mainly like a DVD kind of pickup. Um, I've got a lot of DVDs. Um, I've got a lot of games as well. So it's, it's kind of 50-50-ish. Um, it's a mix-up jamboree. So there you go. So we'll do the DVDs first. Um, first um, film that I got through off of eBay that I bought um, must have been... Oh, let me think. About three, four weeks ago. It must have been about a month ago anyway. Um, is Pollock. Now, I love this film. Um, obviously, it's about the, the, the artist Jackson Pollock um, and how he, he came to be um, prominent in his art of painting. Um, and if you don't know anything about Jackson Pollock, go and check him out. Go and check out Wikipedia or whatever. Uh, read a little bit about him. But um, he's a very, very interesting man. Um, alcoholic as well. Uh, but a really, really, really good artist. And um, Ed Harris does a fantastic job in portraying him in this film, and I know it was a lifelong project for him. He's obviously he's obsessed with Jackson Pollock, so uh, yeah, and it's a great film to watch. Um, it can be a little bit tedious and drawn out in scenes, but it's a really enjoyable film, and um, I can remember watching it a long time ago. I mean, this film was out in two thousand, so it's fifteen years old now, but um, I can remember watching it must have been a few years ago, uh, and uh, I really really enjoyed it. So I'm really glad that I've tracked it down on DVD, and I paid I think it was about four pound for it, so it's not too bad. In good neck. Right, next film um, is, haven't watched it yet, is The Birdman, or Birdman, sorry, not The Birdman, it's Birdman, An Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. Now, um, I've heard a lot of negative things about this film, so I'm really not looking forward to watching it now, uh, which is a bit of a pity. Um, obviously, I'm a big fan of Michael Keaton, and for me, he is Batman. Um, he is the Batman. He is the only Batman. Um, but that's just the era I grew up in. But yeah, I don't know. There's um I haven't seen much about this film. I just I seen like trailers of it and it looked okay. But I suppose it's one of those films that the trailer shows the best bits. Um So yeah, it's probably gonna be really disappointing. But I will give it a go uh, and I shall let you all know what I think of it. But I didn't pay much for that. I got it out of Asda for like nine pounds, so and I've just been paid, so not too bad. Alright, first things first, I just wanna check this video's still going. <laughs> A couple of times I've shot this uh, and it's sort of just cut out for whatever reason. Right, moving on. Uh, another film that I really wanted to see, um, Dumb and Dumber 2. Now, I love Dumb and Dumber. I think most of us can agree it was an awesome comedy. Um, but there's something about this film that I really wanted to see and I was so excited about for so long when, when we found out it was coming out. But what a letdown. Um, what a letdown. They've just aged too much. It's... It's just stupid comedy. I wouldn't even class it as comedy. It's an absolutely rubbish movie. Um, I'm, I'm so disappointed with it. Um, I didn't like um, Dumb and Dumberer, Dumb and Dumberer, um, which was obviously sandwiched between these two films, Dumb and Dumber and Dumb and Dumber Two. I didn't like that at all. Uh, when Harry Met Lloyd, I think it was called the subtitle, but that was shit. This is just as bad for me. Um, it's a real shame. I, did, I was sitting there literally cringing at some of the moments in this film. Rather than when I go back and watch Dumb and Dumber and it's just it's quality, I can still laugh at that film. This is just awful um, and it's such a letdown. I bought it for £7 and honestly at £7 I just wish I had not spent on that. Right, next up is Wreck Apocalypse. Um, I love the Wreck movies and of course Quarantine, which is the English um, versions of the Wreck films. Um, Quarantine 1 and 2, they're both brilliant films. Uh, Wreck obviously is great. Wreck 2, um, I think it's called, is it not Wreck 2? The sequel to Wreck um, isn't. Um, and I haven't seen. There's another one, I think Wreck the Wedding or something like that. That's something with a bride or, or whatever. I haven't seen that either. But I've got this one, Wreck Apocalypse. It was £7 out of Asda. Uh, it looked really good. It's kind of like my kind of film. I love intense zombie movies. And um, this obviously being set in a ship is sort of set in one location. 
and then you've got like the cast and they're trying to get away or get out or hide. That's the kind of situations that I love. Um, and I'm going to, I know I'm going to enjoy this film. Well, I hope I'm going to enjoy this film. Um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. By the time this video is uploaded, I will have watched it. So uh, go ahead and spoil it if you want to. I've already seen this film by the time this is uploaded. So um, it's still sealed at the moment. But uh, I will watch it by then. So yeah. Right, next up. Annabelle. Um, now, I watched The Conjuring. A creepy ass fucking doll, by the way. Watched The Conjuring um, and thought it was shit. Um, and then Annabelle was announced. Uh, and I had a lot. Of, I had a few people say that it was actually okay. Um, so I decided, all right, I'm going to watch it. And it's not bad, actually. It's not terrifying. I mean, there's some scenes with the doll that just honestly freak the fuck, freak me the fuck out. Um, but it's not actually that bad. It's actually pretty. I, I would actually say Annabelle's better than the original, better than The Conjuring. Um, so I would highly recommend it. It's it's a good horror. There's bits of it that are drawn out, and you can see the scares coming in some of them, but it's like any horror film now. If you watch horror films a lot, you're going to see where the scares are coming from. Generally, you're on the lookout for them. So it, that kind of takes away that element of a scare when it does actually happen. And there's a few moments in this film where it's like that. But it's a great film nonetheless, and I actually really enjoyed it, to be fair. For what it was, it's a pretty decent it's a pretty decent sequel. All right, moving on. Comedy now. Um, Little Britain Live, still sealed. Um, I love Little Britain. Um, I hated it back in the day. But I can appreciate it more now. And this one, I actually have this DVD already. Um, it's just the DVD though. This has got the the program that was with the book. A th uh, program with, that was obviously issued with the show. Um, with it. It's like a miniature tour program. So uh, that's why I got this. And it was only like £4 off of eBay. So I was like, yeah, fucking having that. So £4 buy it now and it's still sealed. So great. Um, and next is Men Behaving Badly. The 20th anniversary of the complete collection. It's got everything ever shown shot whatever from these guys um so that's great so obviously all six series the last order series jingle balls which was a christmas special and it's got the the red nose day specials of 97 and 99 um so that's great and a lost pilot i believe so and it's got a bbc radio documentary so it's got literally fucking everything that these guys have ever done um so i'm really looking forward to watching this i love men behaving badly i can sit down and watch it on tv it doesn't matter if I've seen the episode like a couple of days beforehand, I can sit and watch it and it's still funny as fuck. Um, it's just one of those great, you know, 90s British sitcoms that you just, you, you wish it kind of didn't end, but you're kind of glad it did as well, because it probably would have been drawn out and it probably would have been absolute crap. But it was a shame when it ended, but it was just quality all the way through. The first series with Harry Enfield wasn't that great, but um, after that it starts getting really good. So I'd say from series three onwards is where the, you know, the best bits are, but um, it's still, it's fantastic, absolutely love it. Alright, so enough of the DVDs. A little bit of a review with each one there. So yeah. Alright, moving on. Uh, right, I'm going to show you a CD that I got. Um, obviously another CD to the Queen collection. Um, it is the Sheffield Show from the 5th of November 1974. And it is a limited edition, uh, 125. Um, that means fuck all by the way. Just to, just to let you guys know. Uh, when you're collecting bootlegs, limited edition numbers generally mean fuck all. Um, they're generally just put out there just to get you to buy them. Um, but I got it for a good price. I got it for, I think it was 1990 or something, like, £19.90 pence or something. It was like uh, £4 posted. So it was a pretty decent price for this actually, to be fair. And it comes in a little CD wallet. Um, so I'm really pleased to get this. I got this on vinyl. Um, it's, a, it's a nice gatefold vinyl, it's a really, really beautiful one as well. But um, I just wanted to have it on CD, see if it was just as good as the vinyl. And it is, it's just taken straight from it. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So, Sheffield 1974, The Queen Show. So, very, very good. I'm trying to remember what it was called. I think it was called Live at the Warehouse on vinyl. So, um, yeah. Awesome. So, that's another Queen CD for the collection. Right, moving on to the uh, games. Now, um, I, will, I went and got a game from a friend in Inveruri. Um This is Game Boy game, by the way. Um, my friend Jamie, she uh, was selling on... Oh, what's this she was selling on? I think it was Game Trader. I think we had an argument with a real a right twat who was um, taking, like, selling stuff, 
people were asking for it. Um, and then, you know, there's people going like backdooring, sending PMs to the guy saying, look, I'll take it for this. And then he was selling to them instead of people that had asked first. And I hate people like that. It was actually an, uh, it was actually buy, sell and swap Aberdeen site. Not Game Trader, sorry. But um, we started speaking then and we're, we've become pretty good friends now, which is really cool. Um, but I, I sold her, I had a, a stack of PlayStation 2 games uh, that I had no use for anymore. Um, so I sold her all of them and I traded a Game Boy game with her for this. Uh, I've got £10 and this, and that is Pokemon Red. Um, I'm really happy to have this. I've, I've got Pokemon Blue, uh, and I've also got Pokemon Gold and um, Crystal, but I didn't have Pokemon Red, so that's really awesome. Nice to have that in the collection. It's a really good condition one as well. And all credit to her, um, Jamie, if you're watching, honestly, all credit to you. Um, she had two copies of this, but one had like the sticker ripped off, like really badly damaged, and this one, and she sold me this one instead. So she kept the one that was damaged. Um, so thank you very much. Uh, much appreciated. So yeah, um, it's got black marker on the back, but I'm not bothered about that. I can easily get that off. And um, yeah, so a couple of scratches to the label. Nothing severe, um, but it's really nice to get that one out of the way. And that's I'm happy with that condition, so that's really good. So Jamie, thank you so much. That is much appreciated. Um, I've got a couple more Game Boy games off of eBay. Um, I've got... I got one original Game Boy game that I didn't have. It is Malibu Beach Volleyball, um, in fantastic condition. So, uh, really pleased to have that in the collection. Uh, only got it only cost me like two pound fifty and like one fifty postage, so four pound and all, so it's not too bad. Um, in that condition, I'm more than happy to pay that for Nintendo games, and I'm loving this fucking like really, really, really early 90s theme. You look at the the, the caps that they're wearing, the pink cap, it was all right for guys to wear pink back then. Um, still is, obviously, you know, not sexism at all, but back then it was generally macho kind of color. Um, it's just, oh, 80s and early. If there was a period in time that I could go back to, it would be like the late 80s, early 90s. Just, I would love to go back to that time, I really would. Right, moving on, Game Boy Advance games now. Um, first up is Pinobi Wings of Adventure. No fuck all about that game, but um, it was in a bundle with this, and it was Rugrats Castle Capers. Again, know nothing about these games, but there was two games in an auction for a couple of quid that I didn't have, so I went and bought them. Uh, obviously, I am still going for a Game Boy collection, it's just taking a little bit of time, because obviously the Master System is just taking up everything at the moment, uh, as you will see shortly. But um, yeah, really happy to get these ones out of the way, so that's good. So it's nice to have them in the collection anyway. Right, moving on to Charity Shop Pickup. Now, I did go out and about um, Charity Shopping. Oh, God, I can't remember when. I think I had a, a spare weekend. My girlfriend was working. So, uh, my girlfriend was at work. So, I thought, fuck it. Instead of sitting about the house, there was no football on. So, I thought, right, I'll go out Charity Shopping. So, I had a look around. So, I went into the Cats Protection League in Aberdeen. Um, they've, generally got, they've generally got some pretty decent PS2 titles, to be fair. Um, they're not that bad. Um, and they had this one that I didn't have, and it was Rocky. Now, I know about this game, I know it's flawed immensely. Um, I just bought it for that, to be fair. Um, I just kind of just wanted it in the collection. It's just one of those I've seen before, haven't played it. It's pr I know it's pretty much unplayable. Um, but I just wanted to have it in the collection, so... And of course, I'm a big Rocky fan, so... It was nice to have that in the collection. So I went up to the tail and I bought that, and she says, right, today... And um, we've got a little sale on, you're getting three games for a pound. This was a pound on its own. So three games for a pound. I was like, well, there's not really anything else that I needed. I had to look through. So I got this, um, but she said, well, you may as well just take two other items because, you know, they're three for a pound. So I thought, all right. So I went the PC CD-ROM bit, and I got uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles and Tomb Raider 3 Adventures of Lara Croft. Of course, they're both uh, two pound each. I don't even know if these are playable anymore. I just picked them up anyway. So, um, yeah. All that for a pound. Can't really complain. I'll probably chuck these on eBay. You never know. I might get a bid for them. Um, but yeah, pound anyway. So if I get over a pound, then that's fine. But yeah, so that is that. So that was it for charity shopping, to be fair. I did go to Lidl's. Um, remember Lidl's? Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Lidl's had these little Game & Watch LCD screen things um, kicking about. And... Uh, Everybody was talking about them on Facebook, but I just figured, right, I'm going to miss them. Because, you know, I, I generally miss cool things like that. But I didn't. I went and bought two sets. So I have another spare set. Uh, if anybody didn't get them, that's why I got two sets. Uh, first up is Donkey Kong Jr. All these are still sealed. They'll probably stay packaged, to be honest. Super Mario Brothers. Uh, and Mario's Cement Factory. 
So I got all those three. I can't remember how much they were selling for. Um, I think like four pound each or whatever. So I uh, got all them. I got another set as well in case any of you guys are unfortunate not to get. Um, so there's another set exactly like this. I haven't opened them, and they are somewhere. I did put them somewhere. I can't remember where they're just now, but I will find them. Um, if you guys missed out on them, let me know, uh, and we can either do a trade or I'll sell them to you. Uh, and yeah, so that'd be cool. So, but yeah, nice to have them. Uh, it's just something that you don't generally see in Lidl's, to be fair. So, really happy to get these. Um, so yeah, in the collection. So that's cool. And they'll probably stay sealed as well, to be fair. So, that is that. Right, we're getting down to the meat of the video now. I'm going for a board game now. Uh, a Monopoly pickup. Well, it's not really a pickup, but I got this um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Monopoly. Uh... I actually won this in uh, a raffle on, what was it, Gaming Emporium I think it was, on Facebook. Um, I paid £4 for two tickets and I, and I ended up winning. Um, and what it, the prize was, was you win the, the raffle, you get to choose from nine Monopoly boards. Well this one popped up and I thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool, I really want that one. So I got this one sent through to me, um, very nice, it's still sealed, uh, but unfortunately it's damaged. Which I'm not happy about. Um, I know it was a prize and all, but I'm going to be sending it back and getting a replacement. So hopefully by episode 100, I will have my replacement. Um, so this is going to be sent back in the next couple of days. Um, but it's a bit of a shame that uh, it was packaged really well. So I'm not sure how it got that badly damaged in the post, but uh, yeah, it's a pity. But I will send it back, and hopefully I will be getting this one again because this is the one that I really wanted. Um, so yeah, so Monopoly. Four pounds for a brand new sealed monopoly board, which is pretty cool. I think they're like 20, 30 pounds in the shops, so that's not too bad actually. Alright, moving on to PS3. Uh, I'm going to leave the Master System games to last in this video. Nothing overly rare in them, to be fair, just whatever. But the PS3 game, um, this is Castlevania 2, uh, Lords of Shadow, and it's a special edition box set of it. And in this box set, I don't even know what the fuck is in it, to be fair, because it doesn't even tell you on the back. Um, but yeah, I've got this uh, brand new and sealed off of eBay. Uh, I'm I'm convinced it's a reseal, but the seller states it's not, and he's got really like, a load of really good feedback, thousands of good feedback. But I'm convinced it is a reseal. Um, if you guys have had this set from you, let me know. It only cost me nine pounds, so I thought it was a pretty decent deal. To be fair, I probably been ripped off actually. Um, but I think it's supposed to have like poster map on the inside and all that kinds of stuff. All that really cool funky stuff. Um, if it is obviously a genuine uh, seal, when I do open it up, the game inside will be sealed. But still, you know, I kind of want to keep it sealed. Because I, I actually really like it. Um, the Belmont edition, I really, I think that's pretty decent to be fair. Um, so let me know what you guys think. If that's a genuine seal or not. I'm, I'm a bit wary about it, but... Could be. But um, yeah, I really liked uh, the first Castlevania on the PS3, so um, this is why we went and got this one, so yeah. But it's really nice, it's a nice collector's edition to have, and it will be going in a future uh, PS3 collector's video probably. You know what like. But yeah, for £9 I was like, you know what, I'm not going to pass up. And plus it was like a late night thing, so I thought, sod it, we're having that. Right, quick check of the video. Hey, we're still going. Awesome. And I believe we've reached like 18 minutes. Fuck. Right, um... It's going to take fucking ages to upload this. But anyway, right, moving on to the Master System games. I've got um, some nice ones, actually. Um, makes a change. Uh, I picked up this recently off of eBay. It's Afterburner. Um, uh, I already have this game. I've got the European release of this game. And I wanted the PAL release. And um, the UK release, sorry, because they're both PAL. Um, but yeah, um, Afterburner. Really nice to have in the collection. Obviously, hanging tab is a boost. Um, in great condition. And then you open it up, and it's, it's not too bad. It's, uh, the cart's a little bit manky. Um, but the, the manual is a bit yellowed. So I mean, the insides aren't great, but the sleeve's all good, and that's just going to go in the collection. So Afterburner only cost me £6. Um, but we all know Afterburner. It's a quality title, so I'm really pleased to have in the collection. This eventually will get swapped out, because it's not a condition I'm overly happy with. But, 
you know what I'm like. Right, next up is the Incredible Crash Dummies. Finally happy to get this one out of the way. Um, I have been bidding on this for ages. I just always get out bidding it in the last minute. Uh, and this one popped up for £8.50, buy it now, free postage. And I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm having it. It has sold for cheaper than that, obviously. But uh, I thought it's in good condition, and it really is in good nick. Um, I can't argue with that. It's got the Sega sticker here, and of course a hanging tab. And we open it up, and it is absolutely fantastic on the inside. The cart's obviously got shows signs of being used, but the only place on this game which I kind of find interesting is that the title you find the whole title is the Incredible Crash Dummies there. That's the only time you see the Incredible on here. And another really cool bit as well is you'll see the receipt, the original receipt from Dixon's. Anybody remember Dixon's? I'm not sure if they're still about. We don't have them in Aberdeen anyway. And a nice receipt there. So that's like a little time capsule. I love it when I pick up these games and they've got the receipt. Absolutely love it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to keep that underneath where the game is. That's that's never leaving this box. Um, because I, I do, I just I just love finding things like that. You know, I'm fascinated with time and all that. So that, that's a really nice little time capsule. So, yeah. So the incredible crash dummies, £8.50 posted. Not saying no to that. That's a fucking steal. So really pleased with that. Right, moving on. Um... Another game that's bloody awkward to get in good condition, uh, but I'm finally relatively happy with it. It's uh, Ken Seiden. I think that's how you say it. Ken Seiden or Ken Seiden. I don't fucking know. It's there. Um, yeah, this is this has been a bloody nightmare to get. Every copy that I see on eBay is is damaged. The, the inlay is ripped or it's really badly stained or it's wrote on um, or it's missing the manual. I mean, it's in mint condition, but the manual's not there. And it's just been an absolute nightmare, you know what I mean? So... I've decided just to bide my time with this one. I thought, right, however long it takes, there's bound to be a good one out there. Um, and this is probably the best one, condition one that I could find. Um, the, you'll be wondering what's well, got marks all over it. It doesn't. The inlay's absolutely mint. It's just the box, the plastic on the box is marked a little bit. And it's got like old sticker residue on it and all kinds of crap. So I'm going to swap the box out eventually. But for now, I'm happy enough with it as it is. Um, it's not a game I'm familiar with, so... On the inside, it's fine as well, so I can't really argue about it. And it clicks shut, and it's got a hanging tab, which is great. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that in the collection. It didn't cost me that much either. I think, well, it actually cost me... Oh, what was it? I think it was about £9, and it was like £3 postage, so it was roughly about 12 quid, Um, Which is actually not too bad for this game, to be fair. It looks okay. Right, it reminds me a little bit of um, just by looking at it, Shinobi. Um, I could be wrong, but it looks a lot like Shinobi. So, but we'll give it a bash and we'll see what we think of it. Right, next up, another game that's been an absolute fucking nightmare to get. Um, I actually had to get this one sent to me from Germany because I couldn't find it anywhere, and the ones that I could find were again the same as Kinsaiden and just damaged. So. That game is Alien Syndrome. Just really happy to get out of the way. Um, it's a game I am not familiar with at all. It's like a top-down kind of thing. Um, you might be thinking, oh, what's that all about? Well, that's actually the original uh, UK release. I don't know why it's like that. It's a bit fucking strange. But um, it'll do. The box is a fucker to get open. Uh, we'll look on the inside and it's, it's, it's alright. The manual has got dots on it. Now, I'm thinking that's either mould or something. It smells old. Well, it is old. But the cart's fine, so it, it'll do. It'll do. So that'll probably be fine. It's got a little nick in the top corner, but that's me being pernicky as fuck. Um, but Sega sticker, that's always a boost to have. And yeah, it's in the collection, so boom, it's out of the way. So I'm happy enough with that. And the final game for this video is uh, Shanghai. Now, uh, again, another game that's a little awkward to get. I'm never sure when I pick this up, is it going to be in good condition or bad condition? Um, unfortunately, this isn't in good condition. You might be wondering why, looking at the front, because it looks absolutely fine. And it is. The front and the back is great. It's the spine. Um, which the seller neglected to mention. It's got a tear down here. I'm pretty sure you can make that out. Um, it is complete, though, in relatively good nick. But unfortunately, it's going to need to be replaced. So, uh, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, that kind of took the wind out of my sails. I paid £13.95 for that posted. I just took a punt on it. 
um, and the seller neglected to mention the tear and the inlay. He was a fellow collector though, which is what I kind of found funny about it. Um, but he sent me a £7 refund in the end. I argued with him, I said, look, you send me a £7 refund or you give me a full refund. Either way, it's up to you. Um, but he gave me a £7 refund, so he wasn't willing to give me any more than £4. I was like, sod off. It ain't gonna happen. So he gave me £7, so that's not too bad. So Shanghai, so that's the Master System games for this video. Um, five that I needed for the collection, well four really, Afterburner was just an added bonus, but uh, yeah, so it's nice to get them out of the way. They're slightly uncommon ones as well, so that's pretty decent. But Shanghai will be getting replaced because it's just bollocks. But anyway, that's it, thanks very much for watching episode 99, I can't believe I've done 99 of these. Um, the next one's obviously going to be the big 100, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't expect there's going to be that much different to my other episodes. Um, by the time this is uploaded I will have some stuff for it, but it's going to be a little while till that video's around, so please bear with me on the episode series, um, it's going to be about a month, maybe a month and a half until the next one, because I really, I've got some other things that I need to save some money up for, and I want to get some good games for it as well, um, but games that I'm really just focusing on buying, I want to buy games that I want to play, and also I want to help expand on the Master System collection, because I just want to play all the Master System games that are at the moment, um, but yeah. So my Master System collection is sitting at somewhere right in the region of 260 games. Um, I've got about 50 odd left to get. Um, and then obviously with the reproduction games as well, that's like more. So um, we'll see. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. But yeah, so thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, much appreciated. I hope you like this video. It's a little longer than I expected it to be, but I hope you like this video anyway. Um, please rate, comment and subscribe. Um, I've still My competition video is still going. So... Um, Go back and check that out. Yeah, I might leave a link below. If I haven't, go and check it out. It's just a couple of videos back on my channel feed. Um, but yeah, so anyway guys, take it easy. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Um, whatever that's going to be. It'll probably be a collections video. Um, I'm thinking I might do my Wii U collections video. Um, and then I am going to be doing an Xbox 360 one. I know a lot of you guys asked for that. I will be doing one of them and an original Xbox one as well. But that'll be next time. Um, they're all over the place right now. Whereas the Wii U games are easily accessible. So I'll probably be doing a Wii U collections video next. Um, and then we'll see where we go for the rest of the month. So uh, take it easy guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Please leave a comment below and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Um, and please rate the video. Give it a like. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you soon.